Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce a new tool called JFLAP that we will be using during this semester for uh, many things. And uh, yeah, I will, I will talk about them uh, step by step. Uh, first, let me introduce what it is. Okay, so JFLAP uh, is called it's an acronym, Java Formal Language and Automata Package. It was prepared by a university and they are maintaining this JFLAP. And we can do with it many things that I will be introducing in a few minutes. I already downloaded it from their website and here is where I uploaded in the canvas. So for uniformity purpose, please use the one that I put in the canvas. So it's called JFLAP 7.1, which is its uh, version number. And uh, for the tutorial, you may uh, refer to this website. And this is their official website and the stable version is 7.1 July 27 2018 the thing that you need to know is they already have version 8 but it is in beta test and it is not compatible with 7.1 so we will be using 7.1 and if you use the other versions then I cannot open your uh, work and that's I do recommend pay attention to this warning. Okay, here uh, is uh, what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, let me bring it up. So here is the JFLAP. As you see, there are many machines and many tools here that we will be using some of them. So I will introduce some of them during the semester. DFAs or deterministic finite automata is this one, finite automata. When you click on that, it opens a new canvas that you can put your design inside that. I'm going to talk about all of these stuff that I mentioned here. So creating the states, transitions, and so forth. So let me introduce one by one. So this is the zoom. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. OK, so we have a toolbar here that is, is the select. That's it for states. This is for transitions. This is a, an eraser. And this is a undo. And this is for redo. Okay, so let's start with this one. Yeah, you just click on this and it will create a state for you. So creating the states is so easy. Let me create another one here. And for the transition, you need to pick this guy. And if we have from between two states, then you just need to drag uh, from the beginning to the end. And it opens a box here that you can put the transition condition. Let's say we want to put A here. Just type A, enter. This is A. And if you want to create a loop uh, while this guy is activated, you just click here. It gives you this box again. So let's say again A. And if you want to add another, let's say B here, you just click another one. So this is B. As you see, it puts the B and A uh, like the way that we taught in, in our lecture notes. Uh, okay, so this is the creating states and transitions. Defining initial state and final state, uh, you just need to pick the select icon here. And then if you right click here, it gives you the options that you can create a final state or initial state. 
or both of them. Let's say, for example, this is initial state and also final state. For deleting, you just need to pick the delete and then just click on you know anything it will be deleted like this and uh, another thing is uh, shift enter when you want to enter multiple uh, transitions just you can use the let's say for example, here, Q2 to Q1, if you want to have multiple transitions, you have two options. Uh, entering one by one, for example, here is A and another one, B. But you have another option, for example, here. Yeah, You say A, instead of enter, hit the shift enter. So it add that and it will give you the box. So in this way, you can enter multiple transitions. Now for testing, loading, debugging, and saving. OK. After you create your uh, design, uh, let me make a real demo here. So I'm going to design this machine any number of A's over the uh, sigma equal to A and B. All right, so let me delete these guys. Let me start from the beginning. Okay, so what is A to the N, N greater than or equal to zero? Since we already solved that before, so let me create it very quickly. So this is our initial state and we know that we need to loop A here. Any number of A's goes here. And also, we make it as a final state as well. And if we have B, we need to go to the trap. And this is our trap. So A, shift enter, B, so for selecting and uh, making it beautiful, you just uh, you need to select this guy, this icon, and uh, pick all of them, and then you can move like this. Okay. What else? Yeah, sometimes you need to uh, drag and make your design a little bit more beautiful. You can click and drag. You can change the shape of a transition by clicking on that and it will give you this and if you drag this uh, circle wherever that you want then you see you can change the shape in such a way that to make your design a little bit more beautiful right Okay, now let's uh, talk about the testing. For testing your program or your code, um, here uh, on the menu, we have file, input, test, view, convert, and help. This input is whatever we need for uh, unit testing or uh, design. In the input, we have a step with closure, a step by state, fast run, and multiple run. So the step by state and multiple run is those that we usually use, especially this multiple run. Let me pick that one and a little bit zoom. Okay, so here by double click, you can input anything that you would like. So for testing this, let me input A, A, A. So you know that both of them should be accepted. Let me add another one, A, A, A. What should be rejected? Let's say B, 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 A, for example, or A, B even, right? Any number of A's should be accepted. After you input your all of your test cases here, here we have some buttons load input i will talk about that uh, in a few minutes run inputs if you click on this all of this will be input 
here into the machine and machine will process all of these strings so let's let's do that first so run the inputs and as you see a is accepted aa is accepted aaa is accepted b is rejected so it means that our design was correct right bb rejected ba rejected ab rejected another thing here is uh, entering lambda if you want to check your application or your uh, software your design whatever you call it uh, we, if you want to enter lambda yeah you just enter this guy it's a lambda so it's just a empty cell here right let me run it again and as you see the lambda is accepted and and it should right and this clear is uh, obvious it clears all of this stuff and the view trace for example if you want to know that let's say this one to view that and you know how it, it is traced you just uh, click on that and then click the view trace it will give you a trace that originally it was BA and then B was consumed it's a little bit small and unfortunately it doesn't have any zoom here uh, the gray means that it was consumed so the B was consumed the BA was consumed okay the load inputs so instead of writing down like this you can create a file a file for example like this one you can create a file and save it and then load it okay let me clear all of this and now i want to check the load input okay i need to find my file jflap demo so this is the jflap demo test data i pick this one and open and all of the information of the the file will be loaded here and then you can run it like this let me see what i owe you uh, in this list so i talked about the testing loading debugging step by state right and saving okay so let me close this so as you see there are some tabs here so the latest one is multiple run i'm gonna uh, close this one so this is my design and if you save this let's see what would happen you can save your design and let's see how it looks like so one gff was created here dfa demo dash one and if you open that with a text editor i am using notepad plus plus here as as you see it is an xml file so the definition of your design will be saved in an xml file you are not gonna change this you are not gonna touch this i am just introducing that how your design will be uh, saved because if you touch that your design will be messed up and you won't be able to uh, open your design any longer the other thing that I owe you here is debugging by a step by a state. All right. So we go here step by a state. Something like this will be pop up. And let's say I want to debug my design by AA, let's say B. And I want to see what would happen if I input aab to my design so this guy will be uh, created and this is the string that we just enter okay so uh, we can click on the step one step will be move right so i mean one a will be consumed let's see you see it was gray now 
and you can see that what is happening on your machine so this q0 is activated and it stays on q0 so if i click on another time step the next a will be consumed and still machine is here and if i click again step the next step will consume the b and it goes here right and let's see yeah all right and if i click another step the f the result will be shown whether it was accepted or it was rejected in this particular case it will be rejected of course and as you see it is red right and if i go ahead and one more time let's say for example a a then let's see what would happen a step a step and you see this is a green yeah and the green shows that it was accepted okay I, I talked about selecting multiple objects let me close this tab we already talked about how to select uh, multiple objects changing state's name yeah while we pick this guy the select uh, icon uh, you can right click here and you see here set name and change label so this name you can change that whatever you would like so so by default uh, here is is q0 let me call it for example xx just as an example right so you see the name is changed also uh, when you have a big design uh, sometimes you would need to make a document here for example you want to say hey this state for the demo let's just name it my label <laughs> so you can put a label for every state all right and also you can add comment so how can you do that you just right click here add note by click on that you can create your note this is my note but i don't recommend to use this note because next time that you save and open that uh, you may see that this node is changed to somewhere else. This node, uh, you know, is buggy as far as I know, so I don't use that much. But these labels and names works fine. Okay, so I already talked about the changing the edge shape, and also I talked about zoom in and zoom out that we have a slider here that you can zoom in and zoom out. Still, there are some uh, extra features and advanced features that I will create another demo for them.